wish our airport looked like this. Fancy. <laughs> you got your flowers. If you didn't know where we are, you can tell now, huh? Oh yeah. We made it to Hawaii. We just got to our hotel room and it's off to a spectacular start of our Hawaii vacation. Um, we're in Oahu, by the way. We're staying right on Waikiki Beach. Um, and we came to check in at noon, which was early. We weren't supposed to check in until three, but we were like, well, let's just go see if we can drop our bags. And she was able to check us in and upgraded us to the 38th floor from a lower level room. So bless her, we liked her, and we just got to our room. So I'm gonna show you the room. And yeah, welcome to the Hawaii vlog. King bed, TV, and then let's see the view. We have a city view. Jeremy calls this the country hillside view. Pretty nice. And then bathroom. What are you doing? Just checking out the shitter. Oh my gosh. It has a... Oh, nice. Wait. Look at these full-size body it wash, a, lotion, shampoo, and conditioner. That a, is an upgrade. What's it called? A, a duvet? A bidet. <laughs> a bidet. And a dryer? Pulsating or oscillating? <laughs> <laughs> so you can dry your booty? This bathroom is actually really nice. Yeah, That's nice. Full size. It is really nice. And king bed, here, so that's good. See what's on here. And oh, I thought you were gonna say see what's on the TV. Oh. Chinese. Did you tell me we had a hundred dollar credit? Oh yeah, we have a hundred dollar credit to the restaurants. Can't wait. Little water bottles we can use. Re yeah, they gave us these refillable water bottles. Nice. Um, also, I don't even think I said, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. I am just too excited about this whole Hawaii trip. So I forgot to even say a welcome back, but this will be intro to the Hawaii vlog. We are going on a, well, we just got here. We're going to go to Paella Fish Market to get some food because we're starving. It's like 2.30 Oregon time. So we're hungry. And then this evening we go on a sunset catamaran cruise drink party thingy I don't know um with all of the people that are going to the wedding I believe so anyways we're doing that and then we'll just hang out the weather's a little bit suspicious so we'll see um what all we get up to the rest of the day besides just like eating and going on the cruise but welcome back to the channel Baby, what would you rate the, the food we just ate? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Did you want like the shrimp or the fish? The fish was really good. It's like something you can't get. The shrimp you can get at like the Oregon coast, but that fish on that platter, the coleslaw, had the right amount of sauce on it. <laughs> it wasn't too spicy on the Cajun style either. And the home fries were good. Perfect amount of food too, like not too full. Didn't feel like you like had to get most stuff. <laughs> Okay, solid 10 out of 10. Yeah. I do not know if this lighting is good or bad, but we just got back after, when did I last update them? Uh, when we got to the hotel, we showed them our countryside view. Oh yeah, we just got back from, well, basically when we went to go eat, um, Alex, who's getting married, called Jeremy and was like, hey, we're going to this place. Um, they were going to eat then, but we ended up meeting up with them. Long story short, we just got back from that after seeing them, which is good. And we are just getting ready to go on the catamaran um, cruise. I don't know if the lighting is okay in here, but um, I'm in the bathroom. And I this is what I'm going to wear. I'm just putting on this like bodysuit tank top with the new... Abercrombie dad shorts I showed and this belt and then I just threw on this little sweater because I was gonna wear a dress but it's so windy and that's why I put my hair up and why it's a greasy mess now is at the restaurant 
it was whipping around and it's all greasy now and I don't know if that happens to us, anybody else but um yeah so I put on a sweater because it's really windy and I'm like I'm just gonna wear shorts because we're on a boat we take our shoes off so I didn't want to wear my like nice heels that I was gonna wear I didn't really know the vibe was you know uh more it's not like a fancy cruise boat type thing I've never been on one but um also I forgot my eyebrow pencil brush thing so I am brushing it with my brush but um my comb if you will but yeah so we are just getting ready we're gonna go get a little bit of ice cream but this I'm gonna wear instead just a little casual outfit and I'm just gonna touch up a little bit of blush um just because it's looking looking a little lackluster but anyway that's what we're gonna go do. So we'll see you on the catamaran. Had to stop for ice cream. How is it? Tastes like a Snickers. I got strawberry Malona. Tastes like a Snickers ice cream version. It's good, you try it. the scabby pick that zit that I have or my greasy hair because the humidity has gotten to me but um we slept in we woke up at 6 30 here which is like 9 30 in Oregon so we we slept in and then we just went and got coffee as you saw but we last night just kind of fell off the face of the earth after the catamaran because I was getting sick on it and I really just sat there for two hours basically waiting to get off that boat. And so by the end of it, I was so done. We went and got some food and then came back and fell asleep. So anyways, it is the next day, it's the morning. We got our coffee and we're going to watch church. And then, cause we missed it this last Sunday and they're doing a whole like sermon on um, community and stuff like that. So um, like needing community around you. So we wanted to watch that this morning because it's rainy here and it's supposed to rain all day long. So we don't know what we're going to do today, but um, anyways, good morning. It's so gloomy. You can still see the ocean, but oh my gosh. We are staying inside. We are back from the gym, as you saw, and I got dressed, showered, did all that. I feel like my hair is going to be beat up after this because I usually don't wash it every day, and I am definitely washing it every day because the humidity and all that just makes me a grease ball. So, uh, yeah, so that's that on that. Wash my hair, got dressed, I just put on a t-shirt and some blue shorts and some sneakers, and we're gonna go, I think, walk along like the strip down in Waikiki where there's like a little bit of a mall type thing and um get some lunch I don't know what we'll get but that's the plan um it's still raining so they were supposed to have a beach day for today like the the wedding everybody was we were gonna all meet at the beach which we aren't doing them that because it's pouring rain so that's canceled and then Jeremy is just working on 
getting a car for Saturday and Sunday just to rent for the days because um, it's like through Turo, it's like a car, it's like Airbnb, but for cars. So I think we're gonna rent a car for Saturday and Sunday because those are our free days. There's no wedding stuff going on those days. And we're gonna go up to North Shore because that's where all the food recommendations have been is on North Shore. So that's the plan, but we're gonna go head out to the downtown like Waikiki area. <laughs> the umbrella is not umbrellaing. It's so. <laughs> That was an epic fail. Now, <laughs> it's literally pouring rain. We bought an umbrella and it's, it did nothing, nothing for the rain. <laughs> we were soaking wet, uh, minus the hair. The hair was saved, but now we are, what are you looking at? Trying to find food. Trying to find food to get an Uber and Uber. go somewhere. Uber? I think we're gonna walk, it's close. Oh, we're gonna walk. <laughs> I guess. So we're back at our hotel trying to figure out what a game plan is because walking around is not happening right now in this pouring rain. So that's what we're going to go do. But as you saw, it's a wet mess out there. I almost forgot. Priorities though. We did get another coffee. Iced latte with a half sweet macadamia nut sweetener to die for. And Jeremy is a coffee snob and wouldn't you say? I drink all kinds of coffee, but I do prefer the good stuff. And it's this, really good. And this is really good. <laughs> we made it to Lulu's for some lunch. bucks to jump in. It's nice out now. No, no rain. This is like a little pool basically that they've made. Let's see if this one splashes. <laughs> Just a little bit. sand wax and sand that's so cool it's like bikes but for surfboards it's a little bit later we are back in our hotel room we went to lunch as you saw and just kind of went for a little boardwalk um, <clears throat> boardwalk walk, I guess. Um, and then we came back and I napped, which felt glorious. Um, I'm just taking advantage of all the free time and you can just nap whenever. It's not based around a toddler's nap time and when they go to bed. So um, I napped, We our Jeremy was just watching some basketball and then now we're gonna go play some shuffleboard downstairs and then we're gonna go get some, um, there's this place called, What's it called, babe? Mar Marigume, I think is what it is. It's like udon, noodles, pho, that kind of thing. But there's a line out the door earlier, so I'm really hoping it is all it's cracked up to be. It was one of our friend's recommendations whose family actually lives in Hawaii, so I feel like if he's recommending it, it is necessary to go. So we're gonna go there for some dinner after we play shuffleboard. Look at this, <laughs> darling little purse we got Carter it opens up obviously and we're gonna put something inside for her so that she can open it up but oh my gosh Jeremy actually saw this and so he wanted to get it for the little princess huh yep. so cute then for Saturday we got these bad boys for our little road trip we're gonna do because we got a rental car must have on a road trip. Be red 
I'll be blue. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wow, Hercules. Were you the winner winner with shuffleboard? Yep. He was not enjoying himself. And this is the inside of the hotel. It's really cute. Got our coffee shop in the morning. That's some of the best coffee I've had. 10 out of 10. And now we're going to go walk on the beach for a little bit before going to our soup place. Look how many people are out there though. morning everybody it's the next day it's friday it's the wedding today but we have all morning to do what we want we just went and got coffee as you saw and the rain has stopped and it is done for the remainder of our trip i believe so we are going to get out go to the beach it's still cloudy but um i don't even care because as you saw last night it was a monsoon when we were going to dinner and trying to run back which was actually really fun i've never been in rain like that even being from oregon uh, never been in rain like that. So we're gonna go out to the beach and go for a little walk with our coffees. How's it feel? No rain. rain. <laughs> what were you just saying? Because we're going to Kono's North Shore, which is the little place that I ran into and it was pouring rain yesterday and we were going to the ramen place. Oh. I looked up and I just saw the sign that said Kono's and I'm like, huh, that looks kind of good. But That's it's not not raining anymore. You got the goods. Aloha, Maddie. <laughs> It looks so good. Oh. Thanks, baby. Yep. With a view to Bon Appetito. Oh, this looks good. The honey's good on young <laughs> good night <laughs> do you want to say the story <laughs> oh, wow. okay. you gotta say loud enough though so they can hear with all the noise so the other day we were just hanging out over on the pier there's like this like British guy drinking his coffee and there was this like homeless lady talking to herself behind him and he didn't know 
that she was homeless or something. Yeah. And she's like counting and she walks up next to him and he just like has a smile on his face looking out, drinking his coffee and she's like, one, two, three. And he's like, oh, are you just counting the waves? And she turns around and she's like, no, I'm counting the bodies. And she goes, there's three and a half on the beach. And he just goes, okay, and like takes a drink of his coffee. <laughs> and, and like slowly walks away. <laughs> And she's like, and she's like, the, there's three in the the ocean, and there's a, there's one on the beach too. We're heading to the beach finally after our uh, little a side bowl with the beach view that we just showed. But this is the cover up that I showed in I think my last vlog. Um, it's very see through, but I don't even care because we're going to the beach. Not the part of a cover up. Yeah, kind of. So, anyways. We're ready. Just put on some sandals that I just got, and we're hey, going to the beach. Where'd you put my speedo? Where'd I put your what? My oh please! You ready to go to the beach? Yeah. Where we're plopping our butts for the next couple hours. You gonna get in the water? Oh yeah. We've got like. Two hours before we have to get ready. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. Before we have to get ready for the wedding. So we're gonna stay here and hang out at the beach. We're back from the beach. I'm showered, washed my hair, did all the things, and now I'm sitting in front of the window going to do my makeup because we have about 30 minutes yeah. till we need to leave but my skin has taken a beating you can see how my chest is broken out this is broke out oily skin is not meant for the tropics i don't think so i'm gonna wear as a minimal makeup as possible just to like conceal some stuff but um i cannot be bothered to wear like like there's no way no way I could wear a full face of makeup because um, I think I would be a greasy ball with makeup slipping and sliding all over my face. Um, but if I would just put on like a little bit of concealing because I definitely need to conceal. I'm going to put a little bit on my chest even because um, yeah, this whole situation is not... Not ideal, but I'm gonna just put on a little bit of concealing. Um, but the beach was so fun. We, it was just like nice to just be um, carefree. I wish, honestly, I do wish in certain times like that, like I wish Carter was here just to be able to like, you know, experience like the ocean with her and just like, she's never been in that type of warm water but then i'm like you know we'll have time to do that i feel like especially wanting to like grow our family and whatnot i feel like we're gonna have time to take the kids in the future to the beach but i don't know when jeremy and i are gonna get like a beach trip like this again so i feel like we made the right call not bringing her it's just sometimes i see these people with their little kids like carter's age everything has sand in it my makeup brushes have sand in them gosh um it's just like oh I just see them and I'm like oh my gosh Carter would just love this but I do think we made the the right call especially just like Saturday tomorrow we're renting Jeremy rented a Tesla we are gonna be going around to North Shore which is like a 25 minute drive maybe a little bit longer actually I'm not sure but um we just have like the whole day for us. Like we don't have to worry about nap time. We just can just be. And it's nice to just have uninterrupted, like deeper conversations together and that type of thing. We just don't get that as often. So things like that, I'm like, this is just needed. Um, but I do miss her. I miss her. I was talking to Jeremy about it, saying how like, I feel like, um, I feel like I'm realizing Carter and I have a really good healthy relationship my mom was like yeah she she asks about you guys when we talk about you guys and we just like tell her you know oh we love mama and dada and 
she'll get like excited about it um but she's not like yearning for us you know and I told Jeremy I'm like I miss her so much and obviously if she was upset I would be missing her more but um I feel like I feel like I'm realizing we have a really good healthy bond because when we're apart we can like healthily miss each other but she's having fun and being independent and like being at my family's house you know um and not just like beside herself missing us and I also am like missing her but it's like a healthy you know I'm excited to see her again but having a really good time and I just feel like that was kind of nice to nice to realize that we have just like a really good healthy relationship because I'm with her 24 7 so you never know until you actually like leave them how they're gonna be and like how how they are with you not there but so far she I think has been really good and who knows maybe my mom's lying to me and she has been beside herself but I don't think so <laughs> so yeah it's just nice to hear that she's just having fun and being a little little sweetie girl at my parents house Salt water's coming out of your nose? Yeah. From the ocean? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I guess, yeah, it wouldn't be from anywhere else. Okay, I'm gonna let that just sit there for a second, cause... And then this big boy, it's like completely flat, but, ugh. I don't even care. What are you supposed to do? My skin's breaking out. What can you do? is done hair is done now i just gotta get dressed all set for the wedding outfit sandals and this snack over here at the ceremony he woke up not feeling good and I'll preface with the fact that we didn't even drink last night so it's not um he's not hung over but um yeah I don't know he woke up not feeling good he didn't sleep good he said he feels like um he's getting sick I don't know if he means stomach or like getting sick 
with a cold. He said just his head hurts and that kind of thing. So I got him a smoothie and some electrolytes. So we have to go pick up our rental car today and then we're gonna like go up to North Shore and do that. But I don't know if he's really not feeling good. It might just be a wash of a day. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'd be fine getting takeout and watching a movie, but um, we'll see what happens. But I just got his coffees and at that Kai coffee place, it's so good. If you ever come to Oahu, that Kai coffee place is really good. And then secondly, if you are gonna rent a car, it costs 75 to park it at this hotel. And I'm sure more or less around there is like how much it costs to park at other hotels. Um, which is crazy because it's like an extra several hundred dollars just to park your car there for the trip, which is a lot to budget in. But if you rent with Turo, this um, place that Jeremy found, they, the car rental, the or the car we're renting from him, you can park it at this place for free. Um, so I guess there's like other options. We could have gotten a car the prior days. But anyways... All that to say, good morning, and the wedding was really good. It was really pretty. I've never been to a destination wedding, so it was really, it was pretty. And the reception was nice, it was small, the food was so good, and it was just right on the beach, so it was perfect. Um, we got home at like 10 last night, so nothing crazy. So um, we're going to just get on with our day today and hopefully get up to some fun stuff traveling out of Waikiki, because we're ready to get out of like the tourist area for sure. <laughs> Got our new ride. <coughs> and do I get in? Okay, we're in the Tesla. Never been in a Tesla before, and this is so crazy to me. It knows like when the light's green, red, it knows cars over here, it'll tell you where there's parking spots, and like people, it like notices people walking. It's such a trip. And it accelerates quickly. But this is the little river. We stayed over here last time we were in Oahu. So we're just going for a little drive. Just got the car. <laughs> we're on our way to North Shore and it's raining. I think we brought the Oregon rain to Hawaii because the days we're here are the days it rains and then it's not raining, of course, when we leave. But um, it's just supposed to rain for a couple hours and then it's supposed to be cloudy, but no rain But I'm happy that we didn't stay back with everybody to do a beach day because I'll show you what we're looking at This is the beach day weather that we'd be working with so we are happy we're driving to North Shore and gonna go get some yummy sushi Oh yeah Instead of being at the rainy beach. Small update, it is still pouring rain and now the forecast is saying it's supposed to rain the whole rest of the day. And so we literally drove an hour, went pee at the McDonald's, turned around and drove an hour back. So now we're back in Waikiki. Um, and we're gonna save North Shore for tomorrow even though we literally made it there. It's just raining so much and it just doesn't seem enjoyable to like go peruse around and like try some different food places because it's all like you know walking around so we're going back to our hotel we're gonna get in the hot tub because it's covered and then go to we have a sushi reservation this evening at 6 and it's like 3 45 right now so we're gonna just do that and reassess tomorrow because we have the car till tomorrow night on whether we want to go explore over there if the rain finally stops. Um, but yeah, this rain is not giving exploration time. So we're gonna go get in the hot tub. Today is an official, oh, let me turn this down like two notches. Today is an official wash of a day because we're not even going to the hot tub now because Jeremy had like chills the whole way back from um, the North Shore and he has a fever so I don't know what's going on but we're currently eating cup of noodles and watching basketball I'm probably just gonna do room service or something or I'll go grab takeout and we're just gonna hole up in our room the rest of the night so hopefully by tomorrow he's feeling better but um, 
needless to say, this will probably be the end of today's portion of the video, and we'll pick back up in the morning. Good morning from us in our hotel room, <clears throat> as always. I feel like I've said good morning every morning here. Um, but we just went and got coffee, as you probably just saw. It's Sunday, we go home tomorrow, which I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see Carter. But Jeremy is feeling, I think, pretty much 100%. He's showering right now, but he has no fever, no chills, nothing. He slept straight through the night, all night long, um, which he's not the best sleeper to begin with. So I was super happy about that. <laughs> it's like talking about a baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he slept all night, so he's feeling good, and it's not raining, so I think we're going to have our last day be a great day. Um, hopefully we can get up to North Shore, get some shaved ice, do some of the food places that our friend recommended, and just make the most of our last day here, so we'll take you guys along with us, but good morning. ended up not going to um, North Shore today because the guy who we're renting the car from had messaged Jeremy saying that there was flooding there and if we were there to come back so we decided to just not go there so we're currently in the car we got the um, breakfast you saw and then we're just literally like on the map whatever little random thing that like what are they called like destination points or whatever we're just like kind of going um on the map around Waikiki and going to these little destinations so where we just were that I just showed is is um diamond head point that's where we're at right now yeah but even that we couldn't go to the top because of like severe weather or whatever it's not raining really it's like sprinkling but um I guess probably just for like landslide stuff or whatever just because they had a ton of flooding like all over the island so we are just cruising around looking for little viewpoints and that kind of thing and then hopefully find somewhere to get some lunch and then go get some shaved ice Which one? There's several. We're at A blow. Here on this little yeah. slant of homes. I wonder if those people didn't even go to like like Waikiki Beach because like the park was. We did Tiger's Blood, root beer, grape, and vanilla ice cream, and a snow cap. Let's see. This is root. Beer. Is this as good as the one in Maui? Really? It's really good. The root beer with vanilla ice cream. Oh, Hawaiian root beer float. We're heading to sushi. Jeremy, because he was sick yesterday, we canceled our sushi reservations, ended up getting just to go at McDonald's. So we are making up for it and getting some sushi tonight. We went and got the shaved ice, came back, napped, which was glorious. And now we are heading to sushi.
shadows ahead, feel it clear in the blood. Get to know the feeling of the passion that you need. Hey now, hey now, don't be too strong. are back from the sunset that we just got to watch and I'm so happy we got to see one we got to see a little bit of one the other night I believe but since it's been kind of rainy while we've been here uh we were just hoping that this last day we were going to get some good weather and be able to see a sunset and just enjoy ourselves for one last day which was so nice that we were able to do that so we got sushi went and saw that sunset and we're back in our room just packing up and it's going to conclude the hawaii travel vlog tomorrow morning we head home to see carter and i cannot wait i wish i could teleport home because i just like now that it's done i don't want to wait another second but anyways um we had just like a really good time it was really nice unplugging and just getting a little break and although i miss her I'm happy that we didn't bring her because with the rain and everything, it was nice just to be able to like, just be with Jeremy and just have a really good time just as a couple again, since we haven't had that in a long time. But anyways, I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content. But that is going to conclude this Hawaii travel vlog that I did. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.